move on to agenda item nine is uh, we have Miss Beth English here with the Easter Seals Southern Georgia. Is that correct? Mr. Chairman, members of the commission, it's a pleasure to be with you this morning. I'm Beth English. I've had the pleasure of serving as executive director of Easter Seals for the last 23 years. And before I say anything else, I'm not here for money, so relax. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would like to actually, my purpose is twofold. One is just to share with you the economic impact, and I left my paper. My nervousness the economic impact that Easter Seals has to Lowndes County. And then also just to share briefly with you about the services that we provide because I know serving as a city official for the last 17 years, you are the ones that get constituents issues. And so we do have a lot of services that can help you as you respond to the phone calls and the, the folks that ask you for assistance or for direction or for help. Uh, first of all, just to talk about the economic impact. Um, and you probably are not aware of this, we bring $2.24 million into Lowndes County every year. That's state and federal dollars that would not be here without the programs that we provide that do pull those dollars into the county. We have 58 staff here in Lowndes County, and last year we served 332 Lowndes County residents. So we're a fairly large operation. Um, overall, the agency serves a 60-county area, basically the bottom third of the state of Georgia. We have over 250 excuse me, 250 staff and served over 3,000 children and adults with disabilities. So um, we like to say that we are also your partner in economic development because I'm sure you've heard your economic development people say every dollar turns over seven times. So if you look at that, then we would be a $14 million partner with you. So I hope that that, that will maybe change your view a little bit. Yes, we are a charitable organization, and yes, we do provide services to some of your most vulnerable citizens, but we also are a part of, of the growth that, that you experience here in, in Lowndes County. Um, secondly, the services that we provide, do I have, are you my IT person? Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. We've got a little short video, um, but before he shows it, I do want to mention briefly <coughs> Uh, Easter Seals has a signature program. It's called Megan's House. It's a children's respite home. Families who are caring for children with disabilities or who, or who are medically fragile have autism, have a very high um, stress level, as you might can imagine. The divorce rate is significantly higher. And for these families, they are able to leave their child with us 24 hours up to two weeks so that the family can take a break from the caregiving responsibilities. They can spend time with their spouse. They can spend time with their other children. A parent may perhaps need surgery or, or have a family emergency, and so we're able to do that. We are the only agency in the state of Georgia, south of Metro, that does this. We have a home in Albany, a home in Valdosta, and a home in Waycross. We have families from Augusta coming to get these services. So we're very proud to have the home here in Valdosta. It is um, very well used, as you might guess, and we've had enormous support from this community, both financially and in so many other ways, just with helping us with, um, with the services. We do have an Easter Seals board here in Valdosta. They meet every other month. There's 17 individuals, and you have a packet that lists the services um, and also the board members. So I'll be quiet and certainly will be able to field any questions you might have, but we have a really short video that highlights some of the services. I'm so glad you I have an IT person. This is not my strength. It would be to the <laughs> families you. of special needs children not to give up and to realize what an awesome place Megan's house is. You know, in all my travels, I, I'm not aware of another facility like Megan's house anywhere that I've ever been. Uh, it is definitely uh, a need. There's a need there and that it was identified and we've come up with this incredible solution is just uh, says so much about the founder and, and the folks that have supported it through the years. Macon's House does provide us with a level of security, a level of comfort that we can't get anywhere else because our child requires so much attention, specialized attention, that uh, we can't get that from just anywhere. But Megan's house has everything that we need. And so when we send him to Megan's house, you see, we can re rest, we can relax, because we know that he's in good hands. They love it. You, know, kids, they love you can it. tell they, they're getting more and more comfortable with it. And that just, you know, it's, it's reassuring once you see the people there interact with them. When we first drop him off, He's always smiling. 
And in fact, immediately he turns away from us and he focuses on the nurse and the toys. He, did, he wouldn't do that if he didn't like it there. In fact, he wouldn't do that if he didn't love it there. I know that I needed a break when Megan was here and I had a lot of support of families. I had a lot of support from Easter Seals, but we didn't have a respite home. This is a safe haven for families to bring their children. We have trained staff that love these kids that have been with us since we opened. It's a wonderful place. I'd be happy to field any questions that you might have. I, I have any questions for Ms. Yes. English? I really enjoyed the presentation and all, and I'd be the first to tell you, growing up I heard about Easter Seals, but I never knew the economic impact that you're, you're talking about. Uh, but um, I realize you say you didn't come to, for any money, but I, I, I know you didn't come for nothing. Um, is there anything that we can do to help, or grant application, or, or just strictly community awareness or what? Really, it just was just community awareness. We're very fortunate to have a number of, of very viable state contracts. And we, because we do perform and deliver the outcomes at a, at a, a very good price, our, our um, admin is less than 9%. You can't find a, a large agency that can, that can top that generally. So, no, absolutely. Uh, but I, certainly if we have a grant application that's applicable to, to Val Austin Lowndes County, if you all were amenable, we would certainly be here to ask for support. But, no, this is just strictly a, this is what we do, and thank you all for serving in the capacity that you serve in. Well, Miss English, thank you, and thank you for the Easter Seals and all the work that you do, not only in this community, but of course, certainly worldwide as well. So, very much appreciative, and thank you for the great work. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.